Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our series of videos about the ADS-37 Vegan and today we're going to look at how to set and calculate the QFE. Uh, now the QFE is extremely important because it has to be set to the correct QFE for where your target is if you want your bomb aiming computer to work and if you want your rocket aiming computer to work. If you don't have the ability to set the QFE then, well, like I said, you can't bomb and you can't fire rockets. So, um, because the bomb and rocket calculating computer is not based on radar, it's based on the INS system, as far as I'm aware. The first way that we're going to look at doing this is by calculation. So, we are here, and we're going to go and look at our hostile, who's actually a friendly, but we're going to pretend it's a hostile here. And we're going to hover our mouse above him, and if we look at the top left of the screen, we can see his elevation. It's slightly cut out there, but it's 1,690 feet. So I've got to write that down, 1,690 feet. It'd be much easier if I put this in a metric, but never mind, we'll do the conversion. Back to our cockpit. So, um, the way that we calculate it is as follows. We go to our backup altimeter here, and we get the QNH from here. Now... I'm not a vegan expert and I'm not a real pilot as you all know I'm just a video game nerd so I don't really know what QNH means and I don't know what QFE means and um, I'll learn someday but not at the moment what I do know is I want my bombs and my rockets on target so the way I'm going to do this is this is my starting airfield and it's important that you um, do this from your starting airfield when you come into the mission this QNH here will be automatically set to the air pressure of your starting airfield okay and we've got I know you can't read that very well but that says 1012 okay and the way we calculate it is by taking the QNH of that backup altimeter minus the elevation of the target in meters divided by 9.3 and that will give us a figure for our QFE which we will type in here so let's go and do that math. So first of all, the target elevation was 1690. So I know I need to go and convert that with a calculator into meters. Sorry, I'm going to go into a um, just a Google um, a Google converter. Yes, I know I'm, I'm evil. I'm using Google, but so I'm in a Google converter and I'm going 1690 feet equals 515.1 meters. Okay. So next thing we're going to go and do is go to our calculator and um, I apologize if you, if you can't see what I'm doing but I'll explain it and we're going to take 515.1 meters divided by the magic ratio 9.3 equals let me type, write that down 55.39 okay and now we're going to do the final sum which is our Q and H of 1012 minus 55.39 equals a QFE of five, uh, 957, 957. So we've got the QFE of that target that we've got out there, and it was 957. So we're going to set that here. So that is the QFE of our target. Now our bombs will, will uh, target accurately, and so will our rockets. So that's that. The second way of doing it is on the fly. So basically, to do what we've just done here, we need to be on the cockpit. Uh, we need to be on the ground uh, because we've got to get our calculator and stuff. Next is to do it through HUD on the fly. So I'm, we should get a, about the same figure. So stand by as I take off and go and do that. Hello, welcome back. So we're going to look at the second method of uh, sending the QFE now. And this method is if you don't know where the target is um, when you're at your base and you're literally finding targets on the fly, you need to be able to set your QFE to the target's uh, altitude uh, like we spoke to for the targeting to work. So there's our little target. It's a burning tire or something like that. So what we're going to do, first of all, is start setting our copy up. So first of all, we're going to scramble uh, the QFE so that we can't cheat. We know what it was, we know it was about 957, uh, so let's just scramble that over there. Next, we're going to set our HUD to um, barometric pressure reading rather than radar. I usually have it on radar for safety, but we're going to have to go to barometric for, to work. Now we're going to head into the target, and we're going to use symbology on the HUD to determine the QFE of the target. Now, apologies, uh, as usual, I'm not a vegan expert by any means, and I don't know the proper terms for this, so I'm just going to call them lines, or whatever I like to call them, because that's just how I function. So stand by. Now, um, this requires a bit of precision. Here we go, first of all. Right, pause. Let's look at our symbology in the HUD. So we've got two lines here that we're interested in. I don't know what they're called, but they are our calibration lines for our QFE, basically. 
uh, what we want to achieve when we're passing 100 meters over the target exactly is for this line here to terminate at its bottom exactly on this horizontal line. If we can do that, then we've got the QFE um, of the target. Now we adjust this line up and down by turning this knob here, uh, turn by calibrating the QFE. Now to actually turn this knob with the mouse and fly is impossible. So we go escape, adjust controls, and we've set up here uh, altimeter setting, I just go for medium. You can, if you want more resolution, you can go uh, slow, uh, up and down. And I'm going to do it with the keyboard. Uh, we get our current altitude from this number here. So we're going to basically fly over the target when this reads 100 or as near as we can get to 100. Uh, mustn't be below 100, otherwise we lose the symbology. Uh, then we want to make these two match. And depending on how accurately we can make these two match is how accurate we're going to get our QFE. Okay, so let's give that a go. It may take a few runs because I'm a noob. Let's give it a go. So let's practice moving that line up and down. Okay, you can see I can move it up and down nicely. Let's just make sure we're not going to stall. Speed is good. Right, let's start heading down. I'm going to zoom right in just to get maximum resolution here. So what we want to do is keep that line on the horizontal line when we're 100 meters above our target. And we're too low now. Ah, it's harder than it looks. Okay, I kept dipping below the 100. Oh, I've gone too far. Let's see that for a first run. Let's see how accurate we got there. Uh, we got a QFE of 952. Now, we know from our calculations the actual QFE was 957. So we're pretty close. Um, so that, why don't we go around for another practice and see if we can get it a little more accurate. Okay, so we're heading in again. I've messed my QFE up by the looks of it. So let's bring that, whoops, let's bring that back down. Let's try and get down because we're way too high. 180. Oh, it's going to be a little bit closer. That was not too bad that time. And we've got 954 now, so we're getting real close. Right, let's see what we can do on our third attempt. Okay, we're heading in for our final run now. Now, what we'd probably best be doing is uh, best do is set some more keys up for the slow control of this so we get some more accuracy. But um, just for this uh, example, we'll stay as we are. There may be a better technique than what I'm doing here. I'm doing this for the first time, so... Um, it's not going the best it could go, but let's, let's carry on. Down, 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 up. I reckon we got it bang on there. I reckon we got 100 meters right above that target. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. We've got a final um, QFE of 955. Uh, sorry, 955.5, so we're 1.5 QFE uh, by the last pass. So once you get good at that, uh, you'll be able to probably do it on the first pass and get enough accuracy for your bombs and rockets to be accurate. So that's the second way of doing it on the fly. Um, so I've just learned that, and it's pretty damn cool. I'm going to start using that. Um, other than that, there is a third way, which is that you can set a waypoint uh, in the mission editor, a waypoint on the target, and um, you can get the QFE from that in your knee pad. Um, you'll have, uh, if you see here, you've got different waypoints and it gives the QFE there. But that's a little bit cheating, so we're not going to do that. Um, otherwise, that's all I've got to say on that. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.